Okay, Neil Kosa Tennis Na Elaine Grinnell, and Nisai Papascha Huelas Chastis Tiklam Mus Clayam. Shasho Tachin Stachi, Shasho Tachin Stachi. Manu I Squatchi Ayanak. Welcome. I'm really happy that you are here today because this is a signal that, that we perhaps need to have this conversation to protect the rights of our people the rights of our culture, the rights of our traditions, for clean air, clean water, for our economy, for all of those things, the right to have a family as we now understand it. It's changed considerably in my years on earth, but nevertheless, I can still remember the things that, that were important 70 years ago, 75 years ago, I've seen many changes. It's so scary that maybe some of us don't realize what it means to be Jamestown. To be Jamestown is to, is to, to walk down the beach to, to, to get food for our families to share with our neighbors and to and to gather uh, gather our foods in a fashion that that we have done done for centuries and know that they're going to be there it's changing now we don't know if they're going to be there or if they're going to be edible when we get there to pick those things for our families or in bartering or exchanging to other families the things that we gather on the beach. The salmon always has been a very spiritual, very spiritual um, subject with us. That first salmon in the springtime. Then there was, you know, like Casey said, now right now the Steel hatter, you know, coming, you know, just ending now. Those were all very predictable and somewhat this day. But how long will that go if it's not protected? That's what scares me. How long is this young man going to make a, a living for he and, and those he loves if, it, if he's not protected? And we have to learn the importance, that spiritual need that he has, I have, and we all have. We watch the waters, we watch the, we watch the air, and we watch the winds. We watch how much water is in the river. All of those protect the resources that are important to us. And so, you know, all of these, all of these things are just so independent you know, on each other and protect, protects the way of our, our life and our livelihood. It's, uh, if there's no protection for that, the native way will also be traumatized even more than it is right now by a lot of other things that has a, that have affected us. Drugs, alcohol, all of those things, you know. Pressures of, of uh, losing things, you know, losing your rights, you know, being moved and all of those things that have happened in the past. It will continue, yeah. but a lot worse. Education, a lot of people just fish for education to send their kids to school. If they can't do that, what's going to happen? Will we, will that be the norm for our children to go without education? Will they move away from the reservation? Will they come back? If they come back, will we have something for that? The Jamestown is planning ahead for those things. We want our, our people to come back to work for us, our young ones. But we have to have a place for them. 
and from the protection of the government, protection of the state, the county, the all of those things. Plus, we we work too for this. We can ensure the future of our children. Plus, use all of these the things of nature, the things that we have so uh, you know held on to so desperately. We want to give that to our children and have them be very, very proud that they're Jamestown, that they're native citizens of, of uh, this tribe. We always think of seven generations in advance, you know, but you know, without the protection of our rights, well then, the, is seven generations out too far? You know, and that's what I'm really concerned about because I was really fortunate in babe, being able to get into uh, gillnet and trolling and crabbing and all of those things uh, in the 80, uh, 1980 and uh, we did all of these different kinds of fishing and not only that when our, our children were, were all in, in college and uh, they, they stopped going we came out and, you know, we're going to just make enough money to go back to school, which uh, none of them really did. But uh, but they had had enough uh, education to, to really help themselves, help us also, because that was a great expense. But the thing is, is that they're still in it. They're, my daughter was, was a fish buyer, and um, my oldest son was, uh, he was a fisherman and uh, we all had our own boats and we boated up from, you know, when we could. And uh, my youngest son, Kurt Grinnell, is still in the, the gooey duck business for the tribe. And so he helps many by giving uh, any uh, extra clams to the, to the elders uh, program. And so that works out really well. And that's, that's just a, a, a trend that, that comes from long ago. You never waste, you never take any more than you need. And I really think that's so important that everybody learns that, you know, and, and, uh, and to help your, your people. And so uh, I, I know that we were very lucky probably and having this extension to our family to be able to do all these things because we had protection for our rights. I have protection for, for gathering uh, basketry materials and extending it out in that fashion. But now we have to be very, very careful because of um, the different poisons that they put on plants now, you know, to, to um, you know, to keep uh, a lot of pests out of the out of the forests can be very dangerous to your own health and so you have to be careful of those things and so our tribe is right there to, to help us at uh, when we need it we we hope and pray and we'll do what we can to to protect all of our Indian rights and our treaties our, our treaty especially for the Jamestown but then we all have to stick together and we're not going anyplace. All right, thank you.